Saturday marks two months since 11 year old Madalena Kochakari was last seen publicly. Since then, police have chased down hundreds of leads worldwide as they work to fill in the gaps in the timeline of her disappearance. Her mother and stepfather are both charged for waiting three weeks to report her missing. Wake Up Charlotte's Richard Devane joins us live this morning. And Richard, what are investigators doing as the search for Madalena continues? Yeah, good morning, Sarah. Good Friday morning all. Basically, like you said, police continue to search outside, trying to turn up new clues that will lead to that missing 11-year-old. They are also looking at their parents who are still in the Mecklenburg County Jail. Search for Madalena continues almost two months since she was last seen getting off her school bus. More than three weeks later, Madalena's mother, Diana Kojakari, finally reported her missing. Cornelius police launched an all-out search for the 11-year-old, following up on hundreds of leads and searching the Kojakari house three different times. Madalena's mother and stepfather still in a Mecklenburg County jail for failure to report her missing. Dr. Lisa Long is a forensic psychologist not involved in this case who gave us insight on what else law enforcement is probably Probably doing. Cornelius police say Madalena's parents have not been forthcoming. Diana Kojakari told investigators she had fought with her husband, Christopher Palminter, the night before she last saw Madalena, and she waited to report her missing because she didn't want to cause conflict with Palminter. Dr. Long says that could be something investigators are paying close attention to. If either of the parents were choosing not to provide information, or if it seemed as though they didn't want to provide certain information, um, especially as it relates to sensitive areas with regards to um, the home environment, the child's functioning, um, the parent-child relationship. Those are all important areas for them to consider. And police continue to say if anyone out there has any information, please give them a call. We're here at the Mecklenburg County Detention Center. Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.